Hi, my name is Andre, and I'm from Harlem. Hello, my name is Ina Pinkney, and I'm from Harlem as well. Um, there was a day that we were out, and uh, we, we were actually struggling to stay. We were hungry, we didn't have any food. It was, it was just a, we were just struggling. We were having a hard time. Honestly, we were going uh, literally to church to church to try to find food and pantries, and um, just struggling a lot, immensely. Um, emotionally? Yeah. Emotionally, yes. Yeah, we well. had a fire prior to that. And we pretty much lost everything. Um, I lost my job. Um, and I just felt like the weight of the world was on my shoulders. And I just I, I felt like we were abandoned. You know? That's how I felt. I felt abandoned. I felt like... Uh, <sighs> but I wasn't abandoned. You know, God still hurt us. We were on 125th and we actually saw the relief bus. And we saw the sign that said relief bus. And my wife said, let's take a walk over there and see what it's about. And uh, we walked over and we realized that they had soup and, and bread and, and that's how it started. We had some soup and bread and, and we met a gentleman named Jos, Jos, Josiah. Josiah, thank yes. you. And um, we sat, we talked with him, a uh, wonderful guy, and we prayed together. Prayed, oh yes. We prayed together, prayed, remember yes. that? Mm -hmm. And um, he told us we would hear from him again. I never thought about it again after that. And I remember one night in the shelter, uh, getting the phone call. And um, a woman on the phone said, I'll be right there, what's your address? And I remember being puzzled, like, who is this? Who is this person? But we were so desperate, we had nothing. So I went outside and I met her. And she literally brought us food. I mean, all kinds of food. Meat, chicken, bread. And, uh... She brought us love. <laughs> Forget mm -hmm. about the food. <laughs> and I remember she gave me a hug. <laughs> And I just knew that this was sent directly from our father. I knew it. It had to be. There was no other way. That night we were trying to, literally trying to figure it out. Yes. Just to get through the night. And um, just when I thought, you know, there was no light and everything was really, really dark. She was like, um, she was like our night and shining on And what I began to realize was that this was not a one-time thing. That she was literally there for us. And if I never understood the love of Christ, she, she began to teach me something. She began to show me something that I hadn't seen in a, quite some time. The relief bus has helped us in our walk, you know, in our spiritual walk. Um, some things, sometimes things are still difficult. Um, in terms of just getting through day-to-day -day life and, and, and making sure that we have what we need to sustain us in terms of the physical world. But the Relief Bus has done so much more for us than just feed us, you know. It fed our spirit and it helped to, to lead us towards our Father, you know, towards what we really need. And so I'm, I'm eternally grateful to you guys. Thank you. I'm eternally grateful. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>